In this video, we're going to complete example one. This example refers to what is known as a present value table. This is the present value table that we will be referring to as we solve this example. It says that George makes repayments of $400 at the end of each month into his investment account for eight months. He receives an interest rate of 18% per annum compounded monthly. Question A says, by referring to the table above or the table on the previous slide, calculate the present value of his investment. So we'll start by looking at our interest rate, R. We can see that our interest rate is 18% per annum, but it's compounded monthly. So we need to divide this amount by 12. 18 divide 12 gives us 1.5. So this is 1.5% per month as opposed to 18% per annum. We also need the number of time periods, which is eight or eight months. Now we need to remember our interest rate as well as the number of time periods when we refer to the table. So we need to remember 1.5% and 8. Here is our 1.5% and here is our 8. And you will notice that when you connect them together, you come up with the number 7.486. So we got 7.486. Now to calculate the present value of his investment, we need to multiply this magic number by the repayment, which is $400 times 400. And let's see what we get. 7.486 times 400 equals $2,994.40. Now question B says, what does the amount in question A represent? What does this $2,994.40 actually represent here? To understand the present value of investment, we actually need to have a little discussion about the future value of an investment. We know that George makes regular repayments at the end of the month, and these repayments are $400. We also know that the bank gives him an interest rate of 1.5% per month, and that this goes on for a period of eight months. Now let's say that this was an investment account that there was no money in it at the beginning, and that George kept paying $400 into the account each month for eight months. What would happen? Well, by the end of eight months, he would have a future value or an amount of money that would be sitting in his investment account. And I worked this out earlier. His future value would be $3,373.40. Okay, so we're, we're going to refer to this as scenario one. Let's now talk about a second scenario. Let's say that he didn't make repayments, meaning that D was zero dollars. Let's say the interest rate's the same, 1.5% per month. And let's say that N is eight or eight months. So most things are staying the same except the repayments. We're not making any repayments. Now going back to question A, where we found that the present value was $2,994.40. Let's put this into scenario two. Let's say that this investment account has a present value of $2,994.40. This means that in scenario two, instead of making repayments, George put a large sum of money in at the very beginning. Remember that present value is talking about the amount at the beginning. Whereas in scenario one, George did not have a present value. He didn't have any money in the account. 
Instead, he made repayments of 400. Now, the interesting thing is that for scenario two, the future value will be exactly the same, $3,373.14. So to answer question B, when we say, what does the amount in question A represent? Well, this lump sum of money will accumulate to the same future value as the repayments will. Now I want to point out that if you are given a question like this, like question B, you don't have to write everything that I wrote down. You don't have to write down scenario one or scenario two, but you do need to write down a little sentence or paragraph like I have written on the right. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.